Good morning, everybody. We're so excited that you came to join us today. I have um, three special friends here with me. Um, you guys, can y'all wave to, to all the boys and girls out there? Good. That's Caleb, my grandson, and Kendall. Kendall, can you wave? Yeah. And then there's Solomon. Solomon, wave. All right, good job. Now, I see Miss Scott is watching. And Miss Crystal is watching, and Miss Annette Brooks is watching, and Caleb Moore is watching, and Mr. Miss Nobles are watching. Good. There's a lot of people watching us this morning. That's awesome. We'll give them one more second, and then we're going to start our lesson today. All right. Let's go ahead and get started with that. comes from the book of First Kings. Now, there's two main parts that the Bible's divided into. Do you remember what they are? Mm -hmm. The Old Testament and the New Testament. That's right. Oh, yeah. The Old and the New Testament. Good job. Now, First Kings is right here in the Bible. It's right over here. So, do you think this would be in the Old Testament or the New Testament? The New Testament. The Old Testament. The Old, the Old Testament. Good job. The Old Testament. Yes. It is in the Old Testament. This was before Jesus was born. All the stuff that happened in the Old Testament points to when Jesus came to earth. So, Jesus. Jesus, yes. Now, before we get started, we're going to talk a little bit about faith. Mm -hmm. Do you know what faith is? What? What is faith? Hmm. What, um... Faith is like if you believe in something. What does it mean to believe in something? I mean, believe in something. Um, how can I say this? It means, like, it means um, your imagination. Well, it means that whatever it is is real. Like, just like, I, I, I believe, I believe that, that I'll get a new toy. I believe, I believe. <laughs> something like that. All right. I, so, I believe I'll get a baby brother. <laughs> yes. All right. So when you sat down in that chair, did you believe that that chair would hold you? Of course. Yeah. Really you believed it would hold you when you sat down, right? Yeah. But yeah. Some, some people are so heavy. How do you know? How did you know? Because these chairs were made out of metal. Yeah. And you could see it, how strong it was, right? And um, you've sat in chairs like that before, so you know that they're strong. But what if you couldn't see them? That would be harder to trust, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, did you know that some people believe in God, like we do, but some people believe in other things that are not God? Isn't that weird? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's weird. Well, even if you believe in something, if it's not true, it doesn't matter. It's not how much you and I believe, it's what we believe in, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say that this water represents purple unicorns. Uh, that's not real. Well, I'm going to believe that there are purple unicorns. I'm just going to believe that so hard. With all my might, I believe that. And I'm going to pour this in here, and I believe that this is just going to bubble up everywhere because I believe that purple unicorns are real, but it's not doing anything, is it? Yeah. No. Hey, maybe for that. And you think I should try this one? Yeah. Okay. Can you go sit here? Okay. <laughs> so, this represents the purple unicorn, and it really didn't do anything, did it? Yeah. Yeah. Because even though I believed it, it wasn't real, right? Well, we're going to say this represents God. Now, we believe that God is real. And God is real. So, yeah. let's see if this does. Oh, look at there. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. Is it doing something now? Yeah. It, it looks like B. B. <laughs> it's really doing something now, isn't it? It looks like alcohol or something. So, it's too we big. believed in the right thing, didn't we? Now, if we believe in purple unicorns, they're not real. Of course. But if we believe in God, He is real. Mm -hmm. Even though we can't see Him, right? Yeah. 
He's in our, uh, our he, he's everywhere. He's in our bodies. Mm -hmm. He's in our hearts, isn't he? Mm -hmm. And we worship the God because he made us. And he made the whole world, didn't he? Good job. Yeah, he, fl he flooded the, uh, so, so like, uh, so angels, so, uh, so, so angels created giants? No, God is the only one who creates. So okay. like, and then he flooded the earth. Yeah. And then he flooded the earth and, oh. Okay, he did flood the earth in mm -hmm. Noah's time, right? Mm -hmm. Because the people were so wicked and they didn't believe in him. Well, we're going to talk about, this was a man named Elijah. And he was a prophet. And the prophets were actually like preachers back then. And they would tell people what God told them to tell them. Well, there was one king. He was very bad. His uh -huh. name was Ahab. And he was married to a woman. She was the queen. She was even worse. Her name was Jezebel. Do you know what she did? She started rounding up all the preachers in the whole country and killing them. Just killing them for no reason because she didn't like, she didn't love God. And it made her, she said, I just don't, I don't want to have anything, anybody to have anything to do with anything about God. And so she killed them. Well, there was one prophet, and his name was Elijah. He was a preacher. And God told Elijah, I want you to go to Ahab, King Ahab, and tell him, it's not going to rain until I say it's going to rain. Because King Ahab thought he was in charge of everything. He wasn't in charge of the weather, was he? But God is in so, charge. That's right. So guess what happened? It didn't rain for three years. What would it do to all of our crops, all of the plants, if it didn't rain for three years? It would, it would dry up because there's no rain. That's right. And the rivers would dry up, wouldn't they? And there wouldn't be enough water for people to or, drink. Or like, or like, or a pool if it's hot. Yeah, there wouldn't be any pools. And we wouldn't be able to grow food to eat, like corn or beans or any kind of vegetables. And the animals wouldn't have anything to drink. So that's what was happening in Israel because the people were not worshiping God. Do you know what they were worshiping? Well, this is weird. There was a pretend God named Baal. And they thought that Baal wanted them to, like, cut themselves if you wanted to worship God, their God. And they thought that you, they might want to kill children. So it's like the opposite God? It's, it's the opposite of what our God is, right? Yes. But he's not exactly the opposite because he's not real. He wasn't even real. What? They just thought he was real. He was just a statue somebody made. And so then they started saying, oh, this statue of Baal... He wants you to kill your children. What? That would be terrible, wouldn't it? All right. So this Baal was really, this was wicked that these people were worshiping Baal. And then some of the people still worship God, but some of them were worshiping Baal. So, so King Ahab, he led the people to worship Baal. So they knocked down the statue so they would leave? Well, what happened was when he told King Ahab, about the three, that, that after three years, he went to him and he said, King Ahab, God says he's going to send some rain. He's ready now. He said, but you got to do what I want you to do. I got a test. And we're going to see if Baal is real or if my God is real. Wait. Now, is Baal really real? Mm -hmm. Just like this word, they believed in it. They believed in it so strong, but it, it didn't matter how much they believed because it wasn't real. Mm -hmm. And these people believed in God, and it was real, right? Well, Elijah said, okay, this is what we're going to do. Now, remember, it hadn't rained in three years. Mm -hmm. Go up on the top of this mountain called Mount Carmel. And he said, all of the prophets of Baal, come up here. And there was like 450 of them, men. And they all came up there, and they were going to sacrifice a cow, a bull. Ah. And they said... <clears throat> They made an altar, and they put the bull on there. And he said, don't put any fire under it yet. And he said, I want you to make Baal, tell Baal to start this on fire. And they said, okay. So, and he said, whoever's God can make the fire, that's the real God. 
Well, how would they know which one? Well, because he's fixing to do it, I'm going to tell you. So the, the prophets of Baal, the bad guys, they started walking around and they started chanting and they prayed, Oh, Baal, come start the fire. Nothing happened. Just like when we poured it in there, nothing happened. They even started cutting themselves. They were cutting themselves with knives and bleeding and they were saying, Baal, Baal, we want you to start the fire. Do you think a fire started? No. No. They sang and they chanted. They begged and pleaded all morning long till lunchtime. And finally, that was a long time. Finally, Elijah said, Huh, I think your God must be asleep. He knew he wasn't real, didn't he? And he said, Hmm, maybe he just can't hear you. Maybe you better yell louder. And they was doing all that stuff, but nothing would happen. So then Elijah said, now it's my turn. And so the prophets were all, all the prophets of Baal, they were all sad because they tried and tried, and their God did not make it catch on fire. But this is what Elijah did. He took 12 stones for the 12 tribes of Israel, mm -hmm. and he made an altar. And then he built a big trench all the way around, like a big, um, like a gully, a little, um, so about this wide, and, was, and they filled it up with water, so the fire couldn't go everywhere. And then he said, pour water on top of the wood. And they said, how is fire going to start if you pour water on wood? Well, water be fire, right? Yes, and so it would have to be a miracle, wouldn't it? And so they poured water on it, not one time, not two times, but three times. They poured so much water all over the wood and all over the sacrifice, and it was just puddling around them in that little trench all the way around it. There was water everywhere. Then Elijah prayed, and he said, God, Lord, I know you're real, and I want all these people here to see that you are real. Would you start this fire? And just like that, it caught on fire. Can you believe that? Even though it was full of water, and even though nobody struck a match, God caught it on fire. So then the other guys were like, oh, you think the people believed that God was real then? Yes, they did. And so then the priests got scared, the prophets of Baal, and they started running away. And um, Elijah said, no, catch them, every one of them. And he killed all of them. Because they were very evil and they did not believe in God. Never quit. Mm -hmm. And so then he went back to, to King Ahab and he said go to his servants, they go tell King Ahab it's fixing to rain. Well, he looked up in the sky and he didn't see one little bitty cloud nowhere. Oh. And he waited and he waited. He said, It's going to happen. God's going to make it rain. I know he is because I believe him. Look what he just did. I can believe him. And then far off, he saw little tiny clouds coming and it got bigger and bigger and bigger. And guess what? The rains came down and just watered everything. And the ground just soaked it up because it was so dry. And then the people believed that God was real. Now, what? How, how did the, um, when, uh, his name is Jeliah, right? Elijah. Uh -huh. He poured water. Yeah. But how did he get water? Well, they had some water that was, they didn't have, they had some water like from um, some ponds or rivers still had a little uh, bit of water in them. Did he, um, I saw, did he got buckets and then like, yeah. I saw a video because someone, I think they saw God in the sky. Well, you know what? We can't see God, can we? Yeah, but they actually saw God yeah. on in a video. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's not real. Because that you can't see God. Yeah. Because the Bible tells us that God is a spirit. He doesn't have a body like us. We can't see him. But you know how if you're outside, like when we had the hurricane come through, you know, the wind. Did you see your trees going like this? You know, bending over from all the wind? That, that's kind of like a tropical storm, right? Yes. Did, have you ever seen the, your trees do that? No. Yeah. Have you ever seen, like, the leaves 
wrestle like that, and you can't see what it is, it's wind. You can't see the wind, can you? But you can see what it does. You can, you can feel. And you can feel, you can feel it, it, and you can see what it does, but you can't see it. Well, that's kind of like God. We can see what God's done. What's one thing that you can tell me that's really amazing that God has done? What's one thing God has done? Made earth. He made the earth. You're right. That is amazing. What's another amazing thing God did? God made the God made the planets. He made all the planets. The solar space. system. And the solar system. What else? Stars. Stars. What about people? People. Yeah. Every animals. time animals. God made all of those things, and each one is so amazing. And we don't see God, but we can see what he did. Mm -hmm. So I want you to be thinking about, if somebody tries to tell you to believe in something that's not true, you say, no, I believe in God because I know he's real. And they'll say, well, how do you know he's real? You can't see him. Because he made us. That's right, because I can see what he did. Because he made you. And me. That's right. I can see by what he's done. He I made can... everybody. And... Have you ever prayed to God? Have yes, you ever when we eat. When we eat. Yeah, when we you eat. Pray. But you know you can pray all the time. You don't have to wait till you eat. You don't even have to wait till nighttime. Yeah. You don't even have to close your eyes. You can pray to God anytime. Yeah, even when you're in like bed. Right now. Or like okay, like watching T V. Oh, pray. That's right. You can just pray to God. Because it's praying is talking to God. Now do you hear him talking back to you? No, you can't hear him. No, you don't hear him talking back to you, but you can tell in your heart that he's answering your prayers, or you can see it by something that's happening. Yeah, he can answer to us, but you just can't hear him. Yeah. Like sometimes when I've been sick and I felt really bad, and I'll say, God, please help me feel better. Please help me feel better. And then I start feeling better. And I'm like, he's answered my prayers. That is amazing, isn't it? That's awesome. And sometimes I can't find my keys. Oh my God! And I'll pray and I'll say, God, please help me find my keys. You know I gotta leave here. Please help me find them. And there they'll be. Or you can, if I was a key, where would I be? <laughs> yeah. In my car. In your car. All right. Well, thank y'all for listening. Thank you for look up here, guys. Thank you for being good listeners. And we know that we can trust God because we know he's real, even though we don't see him, right? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter how much you believe in something. If it's not real, it's not It's not going to do anything, is it? Mm -hmm. No. All right, I'm going to ask two questions, and we'll see if you know the answers. Who, um, what was the name of the pretend God that the people were worshiping? Baal. Baal, very good, good listening. And the the prophets or the preachers for Baal, they tried and tried to get the water, I mean the um, fire to come down and light up their sacrifice, but did it work? No. No. And so, who was the man that was the man of God? But, but Elijah. 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 Now, when Elijah, what did he do to even make it harder for God to light the fire? What did he do? He poured something all over it. What? Water. 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 And then, miraculously, did God answer that prayer? Yes. And did the fire start? <laughs> yes. It just, <laughs> big fire came. And did it finally rain in Israel? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. How many years? Do you remember? Three Three years, years it didn't rain. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good listening, guys. All right. Do you have anything we need to pray about that we can ask God to help us with? Or somebody you know that's sick? No? Okay. Ooh, yeah. What? Coronavirus. Yeah, well, pray for the people then. Pray for that virus to go away, right? Yeah, pray. All right, let's close our eyes. Father, we love you so much, and we thank you for all that you've done. And, Father, we pray for this virus just to leave us and to go away so that we can get back to our lives before, like we did before. And I pray for those who are sick, Father those that we know, and even those we don't know, that they would recover and be well again. Lord, thank you for being faithful, and thank you that we can trust and know that you are real. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Good job, guys. Thank you. Y'all say goodbye. Y'all wait till? Bye. Bye. Turn it off.